The blade curvature gauge is a revolutionary tool for skaters, coaches, retailers, and sharpeners. It allows for easy and accurate evaluation of figure skating blades. Using the gauge, skaters can identify their preferred sharpening and use it to ensure consistency. The gauge can explain why a skater is having trouble with their equipment and when a blade is beyond repair. Welcome to PBAG's educational video on our blade curvature gauge, endorsed by MK and John Wilson. For years, skaters and coaches have needed an easy method to evaluate their equipment, especially after each freehand sharpening. My name is Brian, president and founder of PBAG. Today we have PBAG's skating advisor, Director of Strategy and Business Development, Paulette. Together, we invented and manufactured the gauge. To demonstrate the gauge, we have here PBHE's longtime client, eight time Canadian champion, three time world champion, and two time Olympic silver medalist. Hi, I'm Patrick Chan. I'm here at Brian Holton's workshop. Just picked up my skates that are freshly sharpened um, and I wanted to check the curvature of my blade to make sure it's correct. Um, so here we have a gauge that's made by PBHE. Just grab my boot, my freshly sharpened skates, and here's the gauge. I'm going to put the base of the pick in the notch. I'm applying a little bit of pressure on it um, and just see where the blade lays um, and it looks like my contact point is in the green which is good um, and then my blade height uh, the heel height is in the green as well so I'm all good the parameters of the blade curvature gauge have been proven and established by skating professionals and manufacturers worldwide new MK and John Wilson blades follow these specifications. The gauge identifies the blade's touch point, which should be approximately four centimeters back from the base pick for proper balance. It is important to note that less than half a centimeter should be resting on the ledge. A smaller touch point reduces the drag on spins and minimizes traveling. The next measurement to evaluate is the blade heel height, which should be between one and a half and three and a half centimeters for a good range of mobility. You should evaluate both blades to ensure that the measurements are similar. These standards are true for blade sizes that are 10 and a half or smaller. But for larger blades, the touch point can be back in the yellow due to the extra blade length. This maintains the proper balance point. Here I have a size 11 pattern 99 by John Wilson. It illustrates that the touch point is in the yellow, but the heel height is still in the green. This is acceptable. The blade curvature gauge works for carrier blades as well. I have here John Wilson's Gold Seal Revolution blade. The blade is on a slight angle due to the carrier thickness, but this is okay. When evaluating the touch point and the heel height, it's important to make sure the base pick is in the notch and that the blade is still resting on the ledge. The gauge was also designed for dance and synchro blades. We have here an MK dance blade. You do the exact same procedure as with a free skate blade, with a slight modification. Is the base pick in the notch? Yes. Is the blade resting on the ledge? Yes. Is the touch point in the green? Yes. Now this is where it's a bit different. Since dance blades are much shorter than free skate blades, we need to follow the curve along to be able to evaluate the heel height and see if it's in the green, which this MK dance blade is. Great. Sharpeners should be able to duplicate the profile of new blades. But beware, PBHG has seen blades destroyed with as little as three sharpenings. For example, the touch point and the heel lift of this blade 
are in the red to such a degree that this blade cannot be reprofiled and must be replaced. When the touch point is in the red, the skater must shift their balance point back on the blade, limiting performance. It is possible to get great life out of your blades. Here's one of my old phantom figure skating blades that's been sharpened 27 times. It still fits perfectly in the green for both the touch point and the heel height. So now I'm going to use the other side of the gauge um, to check the root radius of my blade. So you can see there's some illustration here. Now a smaller coin, for example, has a sharper edge. A larger coin, so let's say a toonie, which is the root radius of a hockey skate, is a lot less sharp. In the shop, we use machinist radius gauges to evaluate a blade's root radius, but viewers at home can use coins as an accurate and easy way to evaluate this. The root radius determines how pointed the edges are and how they grip the ice. Too much grip and a skater can feel like they're sticking to the ice. Too little grip and they can feel like they're slipping. A skater's perceived sharpness varies significantly due to the ice temperature and the skater's weight, style, skill level, and blade thickness. Traditionally, a competitive figure skater's root radius is between 5 16 and 8 16 but all too often, they are unknowingly put on a hockey root radius, which is 9 16 or higher. The hockey root was designed for NHL players weighing more than 200 pounds with an aggressive skating style where they prefer some side slip. We're going to go ahead and check my root radius, which I know right now is 7 16 or should be. So we're going to see how good Brian did <laughs> at sharpening my skates. So here is my skate. We're going to look down the length of the blade, and here I have a trusty nickel, Canadian nickel. Now you can use Canadian or American currency, it's fine. Um, and I'm going to place the coin right on the blade, and you can see the contact point between the blade and the nickel. Um, I don't see any light, I just see uh, contact. So that means that my root radius is in fact 7 uh, Now if I were to go and pick up a penny, then uh, I would have to look for a skate that has um, the root radius of, I'm going to look at my gauge, 6 16 So pretty easy. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> PBHE has root radius recommendations on our website. The blade curvature gauge should be used when evaluating new blades or when blades have been sharpened. We encourage retailers to use the gauge when maintaining equipment. The ideal specifications for a skater's blade is ultimately decided between the skater and their coaches based on the skater's skating style. What's great about the blade curvature gauge is that it can be used to identify preferred settings and then later used to ensure consistency. This level of detail is required to maximize blade performance. We believe that equipment should never be a limiting factor. Please go to our website for more information on equipment management. And stay tuned for more videos and enrollment for our 2017 Canadian, U.S. and European seminars.